um, you know, the just the the nature of the Democrats and and how they're uh, how they're doing one thing and saying the other in 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 such a transparent way. It's hard to believe that not every single person in this country sees through it. I mean, is there anybody that really thinks Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are are desperate for the violence to stop? have wanted the violence to stop now i asked earlier if biden had ever said before last week anything about the violence anything about stopping it apparently uh producer rob went to work to see if he could find something and he found this from uh the the morning cup of postum oh with joe and his squeeze or whatever that is oh <clears throat> yeah so let's so let's they, they put together all the times put together the, all the, i think they joe. put together all the times joe biden spoke out against the violence before last week okay there's no place for violence no place for looting or destroying so this was property june 2nd. or burning churches or destroying businesses uh-huh. many of them built by the very people of color who were the first time in their lives are beginning to realize their dreams and build wealth for their families mm-hmm. all right that's june Nor 2nd is it acceptable for our police sworn to protect and serve all people to escalate tension resort to excessive violence <clears throat> we need to distinguish mm-hmm. between legitimate peaceful protests and opportunistic violent destruction. I said okay. from the outset of the recent uh, protests, whoa. July there's no like place 28? for violence or destruction Seven weeks later? Wait, that was peaceful wasn't protests that last week? No, that's last month. And anarchists should be protected. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Jeez. And local law enforcement <laughs> Where has the time that. gone? Are you Joe? When President <laughs> Obama and I were in office, we oh, protected It took seven property. and a half weeks for we him to say. We were able to do it without the Department of Homeland Security turning it into a private militia. And it could be done today, but that wouldn't help Trump's political interest. Oh, please. He's determined to stoke Shut division up. and chaos. All right. That's unreal. It's not good for the country, but Donald Trump doesn't care. You might talk to your running His mate about this. Is She's failing. encouraging it, Joe. He's looking for a political lifeline. Wow. <clears throat> this isn't about law and order. It's about a political strategy to revive a failing campaign. Every instinct mm-hmm. Trump has is that fuel. So this is the, the history fire. of Joe Biden denun- denouncing. Here's number three. Is a right and absolutely necessary. August 26th. Burning no, 16th. 26th. This is last week. Violence. Now it is. Violence that endangers lives. Pause it for a second. So, okay, so they found two we before got June last week. 2nd, July 28th, August 26th. Right? Yep. So other than last week, and, then was there and August 26th qualifies as, I don't know, last week, Yeah. he had two times where he talked about it Correct. he talked yeah. about it twice come on are you kidding me come on man come on yeah, thank you <laughs> come on man come on man i didn't know you had that <laughs> <laughs> i mean come on. come on man come on man he talked about it twice <laughs> uh, what do you want <laughs> yeah what i don't More? understand is how <clears throat> Remember, it wasn't just a few weeks ago that Jerry Nadler was talking, saying Antifa was a myth. Right? Yeah, right. And that the riots right. in Portland and elsewhere, those are overblown. So right. what is it? Is Trump sowing the seeds of fear and division that are causing all the violence? Man. Or is it overblown? <clears throat> just depends on what day of the week it is, man. Now let's go back to the Democrats uh, inciting all this violence. Look at this montage of Democrat operatives... Democrat journalists and politicians, all encouraging I, violence. I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. and Maybe there will be. And there People are. People need to start taking hmm. to the streets. This is a dictator. You huh. know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Wow. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, oh. we kick them. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this mm. country is white men, most of them radicalized wow. up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. So even if you lost, punch he insulted him in the face. Why? Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Mm-hmm. You would have been a hero. Wow. I'd like to punch him in the face. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Oh, my. Jeez, man. Some oh my. people in the face. <laughs> when was the last time mm. an actor assassinated a president? They're uh, still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. And that's a fact. That is amazing, man. 
look as his character is stabbed to death. Hmm. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? Oh. Oh. Decapitated Trump head. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. And your bathtub? A Missouri state senator wow. is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, at a gasoline you station, and you create a crowd. <laughs> Pause it for a second. Oh, no. And by the way, apart from all the other stuff, again, you got to say, who calls it a gasoline station? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I haven't heard that since 1952. Petrol station. <laughs> uh, I need some gasoline. <laughs> Attendant, can you fill her up with some gasoline, please? Ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see the rest of this. And you found them, man. <laughs> Tell them they're not, and they're doing and that. Sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow, our yeah. honoring our constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania uh, uh, Avenue. Uh, uh, they're not going to stop before election day in November, and they're not going to stop after election day. And that should be everyone should take note of that on both okay, levels. I'm taking this note. Isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. Wow. Jeez, I, that's incredible. Wow. And it's effective. I mean, people are being inspired by what they're saying. Uh, look at the inspiration that happened in Baltimore as uh, one young man decided to run up and not hit him in the face, but he hit him in the head with a brick. Here's, this is disturbing. This is very disturbing, y'all. Oh, knocked him out. Jeez, that is cold. So horrific. Look at that. The guy just crumpled on the ground. Hey, could have killed him. He could have killed. He runs up behind him like that freaking coward animal he is. And he bashes him in the head with a brick. Knocking him cold. And he goes face first. Full on into, uh, into, the, into the pavement. That could have killed him dead. That, he, he could be dead. Fortunately, I don't. I don't think he is, because when police showed up, he was gone. So was everybody else. So Horrific. I, they didn't even know what happened to him. I don't know if somebody came and picked him up. I, I don't know if he woke up and just left. You've got to keep your head on a swivel. Wow, no kidding. These days. That is, uh, that is just disturbing. How can you have that little concern? And then the, the guys who were taping it from a block laughing. away, his friends laughing, thinking it's great fun. Wow, have we been desensitized to human life. That is horrific. Carrie.